One big question that's on the minds of a lot of people is the Ukraine conflict. And I think the Chinese position, as recently stated in the 12 points uh, on the Ukrainian issue, is not much different from its previous position. It has made uh, these kinds of points before in various ways, separately or, or together. Um, but it's not sort of packaged them in the same way that it has now, and it's not been quite as explicit on some points, such as the non-use of nuclear weapons. The U.S. and most of its allies, and I think uh, both in, the, in Europe and in Asia, don't really give this effort that much credibility. Um, I think they just feel it's the same old thing, and it's not really that serious. It's disingenuous in some ways because they still see China as essentially supporting the Russian position, even though Russia hasn't come out and in every case repeated what the Chinese have been saying or suggesting. I think it's unfortunate if the Russian, if the, pardon me, if the Chinese uh, position is just simply dismissed as just taking Russia's side and disingenuous. I think there needs to be a desire to engage with the Chinese on this to see what kinds of proposals, what kinds of ideas might be possible over time. Um, it's also important not to dismiss it because if the United States and the West provide more significant, sophisticated, high-level weapons to Ukraine, and Ukraine is able to use those weapons to begin defeating Russia on the battlefield, China might at that point look at the situation and say, we tried, we put forth a peace offer, it was roundly rejected by the West, and there's no other viable option here. The U.S. and NATO are doubling down on their military support for Ukraine, so we need to support Russia in providing military arms to Russia. I think that would be a disastrous move on the part of China, but I could see the arguments for that emerging if this war continues to grind on and there's no real effort to try to establish some kind of pathway to peace and a negotiated settlement. And, and particularly if the Chinese effort in this regard is just simply dismissed as being irrelevant or just um, a way of supporting the Russian position. So I think that there needs to be a greater seriousness on, the, on this uh, issue. Um, there also needs to be greater clarity on the Chinese side about the exact dangers involved if they were to provide arms to Russia. I think that would be a very serious red line that if crossed could really change China's relationship with the West, with Europe, uh, for some time to come, and possibly with countries in Asia as well. So it's something that really China should resist doing, 